And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. All right, most areas picked up about two to about seven inches of rain falling over that yesterday, but you can see here flood watch still for the Kankakee River, far northern Jasper County, but also that flood warning for portions of Tippecanoe River and the Wabash River here in Tippecanoe County. But the uh, Oakdale Dam is uh, releasing about 18,000 cubic, cubic feet per second. And with that being said, you know, there could be some flooding downstream. Evacuations may be taking place, so just be aware of that this morning. It'll continue through today, likely through tonight as well, but we'll keep a close eye on that. Temperatures this morning, we are in the mid to lower 60s. 61 Logansport, Kokomo, 63 Frankfurt, 66 in Lafayette, Fowler. Good morning to out in Benton County. 65 degrees. Now looking at a little bit of fog across the viewing area, not too dense in spots across uh, Tippecanoe County, about two and a half miles at the Purdue Airport, about in a mile and a half down in Crawfordsville. A little bit worse there in the no far northeastern portions of the viewing area, down to half mile in Rochester. So other than the fog, we are nice and quiet, mostly to partly clear skies this morning, but we're watching this little feature right here. That'll work southeastward later today that may give way to a couple of scattered showers and storms this afternoon, as indicated here with future cast. So there's kind of the fog this morning dissipating by two o'clock. There's some of those scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder with some of these storms, but it's not going to be widespread. Not everybody will be seeing rain, but there'll be slow movers. This is 630 could have a big storm there across Monticello, Logansport, Lafayette. Otherwise, uh, we'll just keep it very isolated to scattered this afternoon. Once the sun goes down, it'll clear out and we will see a clear night with some fog tomorrow morning coming back in. This is 7 o'clock Friday morning and then for the day on Friday, maybe a scattered storm or two much more isolated tomorrow than what we'll see this afternoon. Now going into Saturday may have a decaying complex of storms work in uh, through the midday hours on Saturday. Some could be strong to severe. We'll keep an eye on it and more storms Saturday night into Sunday which is why the Storm Prediction Center has given way to a level one marginal risk for again that maybe those decaying storms on Saturday. We'll keep close eye on it uh, far too early for details, but again, we'll keep our eye on any potential severe weather that we could see for Saturday. As for today, we'll keep things partly to mostly sunny 79. It'll be a little bit more humid today. 82 by three. Six o'clock again, a few scattered storms will be with us. Uh, highs today will be in the lower 80s. Tomorrow, mid to uh, likely some upper 80s possible, depending on how much sunshine we can really squeeze out here. Southwest winds kind of changing direction to a west northwest wind about five miles per hour. Partly it's mostly sunny. Heat in the seas in the lower 90s, thanks to more humid air working in and just that low chance of an isolated storm for Friday. So going to your seven and 10 day outlook, we are going to start the warm up on Saturday and especially Sunday through Tuesday into the 90s. It'll be breezy Sunday, Monday, but it's going to be very hot, very humid breeze and uh, heat in the seas will likely exceed 100 degrees Sunday and Monday. So it's something to stay aware of and be mindful of as we get toward early next week. The heat will be on. We could be reaching heat advisory categories here for early next week, but it looks like we could see some scattered storms by Tuesday. More storms likely Wednesday as a cold front will work in looking at 80s here by the end of next week, Stacy. So we do have a crew going to Carroll County to right. check out that dam right now. So hopefully we'll get some uh, video mm. footage of that. Exactly. And we're since we've had so much rain, you know, especially upstream from uh, that area where they had about six inches, five to six yeah. inches, you know, all that rain is coming down. It'll last throughout the day today. So we're watching it closely. We'll bring you some photos uh, later on, hopefully throughout the day. All right. Thanks, David. Yeah. Well,